Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your attendance at the EAS Forum Facility Farewell event. As you can see, we have very limited number of attendees in the seminar hall today. It's basically uh, limited to EATS and the EATS Forum Administration, as well as EATS Forum Steering Committee. It is such a pity that it is such a pity that we cannot invite. It is such a pity that we cannot invite many of you who have fond memories of the EATS Forum due to COVID-related COVID related countermeasures and precautions. We really hope that many of you who have been watching this live event together and they feel as if you are here with us as we take a last look at the facility of the EATS Forum together and say farewell to the facility of the Suzuka Circuit Hotel South Building. To begin this event, I would like to introduce the attendees of the seminar hall today. First, Professor Kazuhiko Takeuchi, Professor Dr. Kazuhiko Takeuchi, President of IATS and Project Professor at the University of Tokyo. Representing the IATS Forum Steering Committee is the first chairperson of the committee, Professor Yuto Kitamura, prof professor of graduate school of education, the University of Tokyo. And uh, let me introduce the members of the IATS Forum steering committees, Professor Tsutomu Mizota, Professor Emeritus of Nagasaki University, Professor Fumihiko Adachi, Professor Emeritus, Hinjo Gakuin University, Professor Akihiro Nakamura, Professor Faculty of Economics, Chuyo University. Professor Toshihiro Hiraoka, Project Professor, Institute of Industrial Science, the Univer University of Tokyo. Associate Professor Koji Suzuki, Associate Professor, Department of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Industrial Management Engineering. Nagoya Institute, Institute of Technology. There are also two members attending from the IATS administration. Mr. Satoshi Kamata, IATS Executive Director. Mr. Kenji Hashi, IATS Managing Director. Now let me introduce the members of the IATS Forum Secretariat. General Manager of the IATS Forum. Mr. Michisuke Amano. Today is the last day for Mr. Amano to be here as general manager of the IATS Forum. The successor of Mr. Amano is also present today. Mr. Yoshinari Takagaki. Mr. Takagaki will take over the role of general manager of the IATS Forum on April 1st. Next, Mr. Tadashi Maegawa. Deputy General Manager of the IATS Forum. I will also like to introduce the IATS Forum staff members present here today with us. Ms. Yumi Tanaka, Ms. Masumi Saka, Ms. Mizue Jonoguchi, Ms. Keiko Araki, Mr. Yoshiki Tamata, and myself, Midori Kish. These are the full members of the attending this event in the seminar hall today. But we will also like to recognize numerous alumni members of the IATS Forum, as well as the individual who have been involved in the IATS Forum program are watching this live streaming event with us. Although we cannot see your faces here, but we feel your presence here with us. Please feel free to leave comments in the chat box of the YouTube so that your comments will be recorded as well. And this is the first event ever in the history of the event, uh, in the history of the IATS Forum for 37 years. To plan this event, we plan and we wonder 
what will be the appropriate way to say farewell to the facility of this IAT forum. And we thought, talking about and also recollecting as many fond memories of the IAT forum is the best way and also the appropriate way to say farewell to the facility and also the, on this occasion. So for the next one hour and 20 minutes, we hope that we can recollect as many memories of the IAT Forum facility as possible with all of us here today. To begin the event, first, we would like to welcome Professor Dr. Kazuhi Kazuhiko Takeuchi to deliver the opening remarks. Distinguished participants, uh, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for attending the IATS Forum, Suzuka Circuit Hotel, South Building, farewell event. Today's event is attended in person by only the limited number of guests as a precaution against the COVID-19, which is still uh, uh, not so active, but uh, giving a uh, lot of influence to our daily life. We deeply miss the company of the IATS Forum alumni, as well as local communities, members, instructors, and volunteers who have done so much amazing work for our program. Particularly, I personally am missing the many volunteers who contributed a lot uh, for the success of uh, previous uh, many, many uh, IATS Forum events. I'm sure we all have very fond memories of the times we have spent here together. Rest assured that the fond memories of fiction and the appreciation of everyone watching online today will also be conveyed to the organizers and also uh, later on uh, this event will be broadcasted uh, through the YouTube um, so that uh, you not only could uh, see all the events but also you could identify what sort of the discussion has been conducted uh, in Japanese. The Yes Forum was established in 1985 by the late Soichiro Honda, who was inspired by the idea expressed by then Malaysian Prime Minister, Dr. Mahathir Muhammad, that building human capacity was the key to Asian development. I had a chance to see him uh, when he visited uh, Tokyo, and I was so impressed by his uh, very energetic uh, conversation, although he, at that time, was already uh, very old. And then he became, once again, the Prime Minister. It was very, very much uh, surprising for me to uh, see him, and uh, I hope that uh, I could follow <laughs> his way. <laughs> Under the motto of thinking and learning together, the forum aims to nurture leadership capacity for the future development of ASEAN. Inviting participants from across Asia, the forum held, has held its leadership development program here in Suzuka Circuit Hotel South Building for about uh, 35 years. It's a huge joy and honor that over 1,000 young people have trained here, have learned more deeply about their fellow Asian countries. 
and are now playing active professional roles in their home countries, serving uh, bridges between ASEAN countries, India and Japan. Uh, the Suzuka Circuit Hotel South Building has been a constant witness to the leadership capacity development of the participants. The seminar hall, I think we are here, I'm right, has hosted a wide range of seminars by instructors and experts, as well as uh, group research presentations. As a former Lecturer, I still vividly remember how actively the participants engaged in the discussion and exchanged their opinions. Uh, my uh, long experience at the University of Tokyo compared with uh, my experience at the University of Tokyo. This is very different because all the participants wanted to ask me one by one. It took a very long time compared with uh, my lecture at the University of Tokyo. So this is a very big difference, and I very much appreciate it. And I also uh, very much enjoyed uh, interacting uh, with all the uh, participants, and therefore, I'm very much uh, willing that uh, this is a, a place that uh, we need to leave, but uh, we do not want to terminate uh, this uh, program, but uh, we rather want to expand and develop uh, this uh, very uh, important uh, programs. Group research presentations were held here to share the final body of work representing everything the participant had learned during the program. I always attended uh, as a president of IATS and uh, had a chance to uh, see and hear uh, the results that they achieved. They concluded project proposal for the achieving a sustainable society and powerfully conveyed how passionately the participants felt about applying the results of the programs to the development of their home countries. The various meeting rooms at the Suzuka has uh, hosted hours of group discussions in the course of these research uh, projects, giving rise to numerous innovative ideas, some of which have since been realized by alumni. The cafeteria is where participants took a break from their intensive discussions and training and was a place to switch off and refresh. Fellow participants were sure to be found there too, making the cafeteria a hub of relaxation, always brimming with smiles and laugh laughter. The restful private rooms were for the participants to restore their minds and bodies at the end of each day. Outside the window was lush woodland, a view that mo must have served as an ideal backdrop for reviewing what they planned and thinking about the future plans. The South Building uh, training facility was a constant uh, quiet witness to the capacity development of the participants over the past 35 years. On behalf of everyone who cannot be here in person today, I wish to express my utmost gratitude. Thank you, Suzuka. We appreciate everything you have given us. For the first time in history, the forum will conduct the, its program at an establishment other than Suzuka Circuit Hotel South Building. We look forward to new challenges ahead while maintain or even improve the quality of what we have achieved so far. Today is therefore not just for showing our appreciation, 
uh, to the south building, but also for making a new start for our program. I wish to conclude my remarks by offering my sincere thanks to the local communities and volunteers of the uh, respective countries and to the Secretariat, Armini, and regional volunteers uh, for their general support and cooperation toward the IATS Forum Leadership Development Program. I wish you all the best and uh, I wish to see you again very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Dr. Takeuchi, for your speech. Now we would like to receive an address on behalf of the IATS Forum, country committees in respective countries. That was Raid Atan, who is the chairperson of the IATS Forum Malaysian Committee, has recorded her video message in advance. Now let's take a look at the heartfelt message from Dato's writer. Oh, hi, Godaima. Professor Takeuchi, President Yet, Yet Forum Steering Committee, past and present Yet Forum staff, and that includes, of course, our beloved Sigeta san, fellow country chairpersons, and of course, our dear alumni from ASEAN plus India. Greetings from Malaysia. On behalf of my fellow country chairpersons of ASEAN plus India, it is indeed my honor to say thank you to EATS uh, Tokyo, EATS Forum, and the Honda Motor Company, uh, Suzuka Circuit, as well as Suzuka Circuit Hotel, for all the years of hosting us at this iconic EATS Forum building, which is based in Suzuka Circuit Complex. It is a sad day indeed to say goodbye, to say sayonara to such an iconic building that is certainly synonymous to Yet's Forum itself since 1985. This iconic building was built from the personal endowment funds of Mr. Soichiro Honda and his partner, Mr. Takeo Fujisawa, specifically for the leadership training program, Yet's Forum. As we know, Mr. Suchiro Honda took up the challenge that was posed to him in 1983 by the then Prime Minister of Malaysia, Yang Mak Bohormat Tun Dr. Mahathir, when Mr. Suchiro Honda was in Kuala Lumpur attending the International Symposium on Technology, Culture and Development. Mr. Suchiro Honda was posed, was asked by Tun Mahathir to initiate capacity building um, of young professionals of Malaysia and later, of course, ASEAN plus India to study to, in Japan. The young professionals will learn everything about Japan, its modernization, its industrialization, its success, successes, and, and even its failures. And they will take all this knowledge, bring it them back to their country to adapt, to adopt, or apply when necessary as part of their leadership training. The first batch of participants of EATS Forum arrived in 1985, and they were all Malaysians. The Imperial Highnesses, Prince and Princess Tomohito of Mikasa officiated that opening ceremony in 1985. In 2015, Yang Ambak Bohmat Tun visited Yet's Forum for the very first time to witness how Mr. Sochira Honda's vision was realized. So together with Yet's pro officials from Tokyo and Yet's Forum staff, Yama Bohmat to Mahathir, um, posed in a group photo in front of this iconic building. It's sad to say goodbye to an iconic building that had served us all 
so well. The memories of that iconic building from that very first batch of 1985, subsequent batches, including my own batch of 2019. I'm from, the, sorry, I'm from, from the 1993 of the 21st batch, right until the last 62nd batch of 2019. Those memories will forever be etched in, in all our minds. It is in those corridors, the rooms and the lounges that have helped provide the conducive environment that have helped shape our eager minds to deepen our knowledge, to learn everything in thinking and learning together about Japan. Moving forward, it is my fervent wish and that all who have been to Giat Forum and who have enjoyed our stay there, especially more than a thousand alumni, that there will be a memorial plaque to commemorate and to celebrate the iconic building that is synonymous to the establishment of Giat Forum, which is the vision of Mr. Sochiro, Sochiro Honda. Many batches had planted trees next to the iconic building to commemorate the different batches. And those trees have since grown, reflecting the maturity of Yet's Forum and its alumni. The iconic Yet's Forum building will be sadly missed. That's the legacy of Mr. Sochira Honda and Yet's Forum since 1985. Alas, but our love for Yet's Forum shall never fade. So sayonara IATS Forum building. Bye-bye. Domo arigato gozaimashita. Thank you, Dato Zoraida, for your heartfelt message. Well, I'm sure that many of you have so many fond memories of this place. I also feel the same way as well. In every corner of every room, there are unforgettable memories and episodes that can bring, back, bring many of us back to those times. In a way, to many of us, this Suzuka Circuit South building was not a just a building which has hosted so many different forum badges and welcomed many participants, but it has been a place where embarrassed the leadership development and the personal development of indig individual participants and witness their learning journey. Well, so this is your last moment to take a look at the facility of the Suzuka Circuit South Building where IATS Forum is located. So please watch this video.
year to this event, we requested each alumni association makes video message to the EATS Forum facility on this occasion. And all of the alumni association have made heartfelt video messages. Now, we would like to show those video messages from the alumni association. President of um, CIA Cambodia, I would like to uh, express and recall the memory of um, Yet Forum office in Suzuka, where we had a lot of uh, activities and memories together. It's very sad to know. We got a lot of memories, and definitely this leaves us an unforgettable experience that we used to have together along with the delegates of nine countries and Japan including. But we got a move and so I would like to wish this new journey with this new office of Air Forum to be even more fruitful and successful in the future once again. Thank you. Konnichiwa, Binasan. My name is Sophia from Cambodia EAS Alumni Association, Batch 62nd. How is everyone doing during this pandemic? In this video, I would like to send my regards to all the alumni in the region, especially Yes Forum staff and all the volunteers. You all took care of me very well during my stay in Sisika Sikhet. There are so much memory and lessons and all contributed to my growth and personal development today. I cannot forget how we work, how we think and we learn together during the Gashika during a morning walk, every morning we up and raising the flags, our flag with pride, and so many other activities, collaborations, and reflection on how our individuals can work together to win and to succeed as a team. It was a Ichigo ETA moment, a time to learn and cherish together. It was a moment of hard work, but having fun, having love, and gratitude. Thanks again, it's for all the memory has printed deeply in my heart. Take care everyone, and I hope to see you guys again in Suzuka. Thank you, and bye-bye. Konnichiwa, Minasan, and Jariya from the 57 batch. The most memorable place in the Suzuka Hotel is the restaurant and the canteen, where we have beautiful meal together, chit chat and my friend. I'm so sad to be the hero of the Suzuka Hotel. There are a lot of love memory and I will never forget for the rest of my life. Thank you. the 62nd batch uh, representing India. It's a very sad news to hear about the decommissioning of the uh, Suzuka Circuit Hotel. But as they say, for new things to come, the old must go. Konnichiwa, myself Dr. Sachin from 62nd batch. And I feel a little bit emotional when I first time heard about the closure of the facility. It was not just a place to live, but it was an emotion for me. And it will remain forever with me. Hi everyone, I'm Anika from the 59th batch. When I learned about the closing of the facility, my heart was filled with sadness, but also all the fond memories flashed by of um, the time spent in the cafeteria, seminar room, around the office, and in the piano lounge. Other building might be old, but the memories are still fresh. Konnichiwa and Namaste from India. Hope all of you are doing good there. On behalf of the EAS Family Association of India, I would like to thank EAS for and Sujika Circuits for giving us such fond memories at the facility. 
the facility will always remain close to our hearts as our home in Japan. We wish the best to Yasporo for the new office and new possibilities. Thank you. There are unforgettable memories from our Yats Forum building in Japan. I like the most about the moment of creating friendship among countries because the understanding of craft culture makes me more wiser. Our classes and lectures were simply fantastic. We wouldn't have been able to understand everything without the help of our interpreter, Miss Kiko Hiroshima. Of course, the food were also memorable. I enjoyed eating Japanese food here. Onsen was definitely an iconic one. I love it because it brought up together on top of the Kanishikata. We are very blessed and lucky to have family like Yats Forum staff. We wish the new building of Yats Forum can continue to create more amazing memories. Yeah. Yats Forum! Yats Forum! Hello everyone, this is a short video message from Jifa. Thank you for giving us the wonderful memories. I have a lot of good memories in Suzukataki Hotel. I wish Yats Forum continued success in the next location. Uh, proud to work with the Yats Forum. Thank you. Bye. I wish all the best to the Yats Forum in a near future. Thank you very much. Suzukasaki Hotel to be the best base of the ES Forum. I still have beautiful memories working there and I hope everything goes well. I'm looking forward to seeing you again someday. Bye bye. Providing Yes Forums, I'm Kathy uh, from Best 57. First of all, I would like to thank all the organizers, sponsors, staff, and everyone that involved to make this program happen. Uh, what I really miss in Suzuka Campus is, of course, Japanese food, piano lounge, and especially onsen. It's a place that we all talk about our personal lives, our working experience, and many sharing things. And finally, I would like to thanks again and wish everyone good health, success, and happiness. And hope to see you all again someday after the COVID-19 getting better. 
Thank you and bye bye. Sabaydi, konnichiwa. So this is Ginny from the 53rd batch of EI's Forum, uh, and I'm from Laos. Uh, so this is a short video to say goodbye to the old tech facility of the EI's Forum. It's so hard to think that we had to let go of the building. It's not just a place, but it's a home, I would say, a home that holds so many memories, good moments together with all the participants and also the organizers. But anyway, I believe that the upcoming batches will also have good times and of course we make so many good memories in the new facilities because the spirit of ES Forum will, will always be there. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Lee Choi Him of the 13th Yes Forum and the current president of the Malaysian Yes Forum Alumni Association or MIFA. Well, as people say, nothing is permanent and the only thing permanent is change. Yes Forum is going to undergo change, as you know, to move to a new place from the current Suzuka venue. Suzuka venue has been our memorable place of stay and learning while attending the Yes Forum. And we, of course, uh, you know, have uh, mixed feelings learning that this will no longer be the place for Yes Forum in the future. But we fully understand the reason as uh, informed through the letter to us. I was, uh, you know, thinking about the time when we were there. It was, you know, so easy to get the uh, F1 souvenir and it was quite a thing to hear the F1 sound. We hope that the uh, Yes Forum will continue in the new place. And also, we must salute the uh, commitment, the dedication, passion and the hard work of all the Yes Forum staff to be able to move on, even during this uh, challenging and difficult situation because of the pandemic. We thank you all for whatever you have done and we hope to see each other very soon. Arigato gozaimasu and thank you. I believe we are retained in our memories forever. Thanks a million, Suzuka. All the best. Hi everyone, I'm Tostia from 52nd Best. I can still remember the memories I had in the Yacht Forum, walking around with my friends in the garden, cycling around, and we had lots of fun moments together during our season. And I heard the Yacht Forum is moving to a new location now. I will always cherish my memories over there. Thank you for all the loving memories. Yes, for um, Gambate. Hi, 
everyone. This is video clip from AIM Myanmar. Thanks for you have given us opportunity for our farewell messages. I can't forget about all my study life in ES Suzuka because of a lot of good memories. Our ES Forum experience at ES Forum, this old building was really fantastic. We enjoyed so much together with our brothers and sisters from ASEAN. We never forget this old building for our whole life. Although this moment was temporary, the memory we share will be last forever. I have a wonderful memory at Suzuka Sake City Hotel. Now I'm time to say goodbye. Thank you, yes, for them. Physically, we are transformed, but our memory, we have been there, we never erase and last long forever. Love you Japan is the very important part of my life because I fought the leaders of life in them. Now it is time to say goodbye and I'm really sad for that. It's very, very hard for me to say goodbye to the old office building because it holds so many beautiful and lovely memories. I do not like to say that goodbye, but I have to say goodbye. It's not the great architecture or the way the light pours in in the morning. It's the loss of the vessel that held our memories. It's almost as if leaving a home rich in such a lived-in history causes our memories to spill out everywhere and we feel like we've rolled out of orbit, scrambling to collect them. But we have to remember that we have lost the vessel, not the memories. We just have to build a new place to hold them. Farewell to Iet's Forum facility. Konnichiwa. I may have known Suzuka Circuit Hotel because of Iet's, but I have deeply understood what Iet's really stand for because of our facility. This has had been our home for two months and became the heart of our hopes and dreams. Though we are to make a new, a new nest, nevertheless, I won't bid my goodbye to our home, as this commemoration called instead a big thank you. Thank you for cradling each one of us in this bosom of knowledge and dreams. This is not a farewell to our goals, but a hello to far more new adventures in a new scenery. My most favorite spot in Iet's Forum facility is the cafeteria, where we would eat our meals and share a lot of stories with fellow participants. And it is where I celebrated my birthday back in 27. Hello, yes, family. My favorite spot in the facility is the computer room where we conducted our Nihongo class. Domo, rigeto kasay mas. Gambat ako kasay. My most favorite spot in EX Forum facility is the seminar hall because this is where we held our big events that lead us to get to know more about our batchmates and even to our EX family as a whole, like the staff, homestay families alumni, and of course, our mentors. Farewell and thank you to my home away from home 13 years ago when I joined the IATS Forum 46 batch in Suzuka. Every room and corner in the facility is surely filled with a lot of memories, both happy and sad. In particular, I have fun memories of my private room, that's room 4515. It's the corner room across the laundry area. The EX facility inside the Suzuka circuit will surely be missed by everybody who considered EX as its second family, as its second home. Kinasingkasing nga pag-abi-abi EX forum facility, ugdaghang salamat. 
Thank you for all the memories and wonderful friendships formed in this community. Until we meet again, Piets for Lucasivity at the Suzuka Circuit, you're the best. Naimbag nga rabi iyo, Piets for Sapay ko mga kita, maging uh, uh, successful pa iti kasangwanan na ito yung program. Thank you. Alam at salamat, IATS Forum Facility. Every corner of that facility brings such great memories to all of us. From the seminar hall where we held major events and learned so much, the small rooms, the library where our groups worked on our projects. Even if the structure will be gone, the memories, most especially of course the good ones, will never be forgotten. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. That's Farm Facility. And, and the memory lives on uh, and it is with the alumni members and the future people and of course not forgetting the Yats staff who are always there uh, to keep things in order so here's wishing all the best Hi, this is Guo Jin from Singapore in the 61st Yats Forum we're going to miss our time at the Suzuka Circuit Hotel our home away from home Hi there, this is Grace I'm from Batch 13 of Yats Forum. It's not what I miss at the premises, but what I've been missing all this while. It's the roar coming from the engines of the F1 Formula cars. Well, this is not goodbye. This is in fact congratulations to all of us who, who are from the Yats Forum alumni. I am sure we will meet again. Jat Mata. Hi, this is Fawn from the 45th batch. It is very hard to say goodbye to a facility, a place that's created so many wonderful and happy moments during my time at the Yacht program. I always remember the piano room where there was a lot of fun sing along sessions with my batchmates. All these memories that I know will last us for a lifetime. So thank you and goodbye. So much fond memories from the Suzuka Circuit Hotel and also the Yacht Forum main building. So thank you so much for the memory and look forward to another chapter of Yats. Thank you for the staff and best wishes for the move. Hi everyone, I'm Fair from Singapore. I hope everyone is well. Um, I have very fond memories of the Suzuka Circuit Hotel as I had spent two months of treasured time with my 62nd batch of participants. So I'm very sad to see that we will go, but I do look forward to visiting the Yats Forum in its new home eventually. Take care. Ohio, I'm Irene from the 61st batch that came to Suzuka in 2019. Yats was a life-changing experience, and the building we stayed in bore witness to events both formal and informal. Our opening ceremony, as well as our drinking sessions in the lounge. Thank you. And I wish Eats moving forward all the best. Hi, this is the hotel. It's quite hard to say goodbye to you. I had a wonderful memory there. And I hope that one day I can go back there and enjoy the time there. Thank you. This is the 
bad news that I will receive the postcard taken from the S Forum office in the Suzuka Circuit Hotel for the last year. Memory in the facility is important, but the most important is the spirit of S Forum occurred in this place, imprinted in our mind forever. Hello, this is Jan from Secret Second Batch. The Suzuka Circuit Hotel has stored so much memory for me. From the late night group work to non-stop parties, I will surely miss the place so much. But I think it's now the time to say sayonara. For us, Soda Classicard is full of beautiful memory and we are quite sad when we know that uh, it will be moved to another place. Yeah, I think that place store a lot of the memories and all the mark and the properties, the trees are all recorded in our development. Uh, under my memory, I very, uh, feel inspired about the Ronchi, they show the passionate and also a lot of energy. So. It's the window. In the bird chipping, and sunlight goes through the window, it's very nice. One of the things that I remember I remember the most was actually it's coincide with the World Cup event and uh, almost every evening we would gather in that uh, uh, reading room to uh, watch the, the games and uh, more than half of us would actually fell asleep. Yeah. Most uh, memory uh, that I uh, again from Suzuka was uh, the uh, telephone box because I spent all money uh, on buying uh, the telephone card to the telephone home for my girlfriend. And then uh, when uh, the, the yard forum finished, and then uh, my girlfriend became my wife. <laughs> We keep the memory in our hearts. Thank you so much for those who participated in creating this wonderful video. It was, it was very moving and touching. Thank you very much. And the next, we would like to invite uh, Mr. Michisuke Amano to deliver a speech on behalf of the IATS Forum Secretariat. Hello everyone, I am Michisuke Amano, General Manager of the IATS Forum. 
Thank you, thank you very much for joining us today for the Yats Forum South Building Farewell event. For 36 years since its inception in 1985, the Yats Forum has held its leadership development program for young would-be leaders from Asia. To date, some 1,089 people have completed the program, taking home with them a wealth of learning and experiences shared with fellow participants here. I was appointed to my present post in July 2019 and welcomed participants for the first time on the occasion of the 62nd Yats Forum program held in the same year. This is still the only program I have I have been directly involved in because the spread of COVID-19 has meant that we have had to cancel our program since 2020 and we have been unable to resume it. However, I vividly remember how the participants would inspire and stimulate each other to learn and grow all the while engaging honestly with themselves and with other participants here. The Suzukasaki Hotel South Building has witnessed daily scenes of participants interacting with each other in serious discussion, even crossing with each other on occasions, relaxing after the program by sharing home cooked meals and working on event preparation with their teammate. The South Building would burst with the warmth and energy of the participant. And without them, it feels all too quiet. The Yats Forum had decided to move its future program to a different location. Leaving the South Building, we have all grown so fond of. Running the program in a new environment will be a challenge to us as well, but we are nonetheless determined to support the ever deeper learning of the participants by offering richer, more rewarding program under, under the Yacht Forum's unwavering motto, thinking and learning together. The Yats Forum has been able to continue its activities only thanks to generous support from many quarters, respective local committees, volunteers, the Suzuka City government and Honda Suzuka factory, as well as local organizations and individuals concerned. The Yats Forum program in Japan has been on hold since 2020 due to COVID crisis. But the time will certainly come when we can welcome participants again. And for, and for this reason, I asked for your ongoing support for and understanding of our program. Once again, thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much, Mr. Amano, for your speech. As Mr. Amano said in his speech, although we are leaving this familiar environment and place with a feeling of attachment, it does not mean that the EATS Forum is closing. In fact, we will continue the EATS Forum program for many years to come and then continue changing for the better. The new EATS Forum office building will be located in Shiroko area, which is about 10 minutes walk from Shiroko station. As for our place and the facility running the EATS Forum program, and also the accommodation for the EATS Forum participants, we will be booking and also using outside facilities. Since this is a new initiative, it will be very challenging for the EATS Forum. However, 
we will not stop our effort to continue providing this wonderful, valuable opportunity for young leaders from Southeast Asian countries as well as India. If the last 37 years is the first chapter, we are studying a new chapter in the history of the EAT Forum. And for that, we hope that we can receive as much support as possible in the new EATS Forum from all the people who have been involved in the EATS Forum program. As much as we would like to recollect all the memories of the EATS Forum facility in the Suzuka Circuit Hotel in South Building, unfortunately, the time is limited. To conclude today's event, we would like to invite Professor Kitamura to deliver the closing remarks on behalf of the EATS Forum Steering Committee. Hello everyone. Uh, to those of you who attended on site, and to those who, those of you who watched online, thank you very much for participating in this closing ceremony. My name is Yuto Kitamura. I'm a chairperson of the Yats Forum Organizing Committee, and I have been teaching uh, at, in the Yats Forum for the last uh, 17 years. So uh, when I was watching the videos, I, I saw many of you who attended my lecture. You remember <laughs> my lecture on education? And the training facility in Suzuka closes its doors to the public today. However, as many of you have mentioned, our memories which have been accumulated in this location will never disappear. They will always remain in our hearts. Since the establishment of the Yats Forum, again, you know, many of you have also mentioned in your comments. You have, uh, you have been following the motto of the Yats Forum, which is the thinking and learning together. The spirit embodied by this motto is cherished by many of our alumni. And I believe you have been exercising this spirit in their daily lives back in your own country. As proof of this, I would like to mention that we have learned that many alumni associations in each country have been conducting a wide range of activities and projects based on this spirit. The activities include educational activities targeting local communities and schools, environmental conservation projects, or road safety education and training. There have been so many different activities and projects you have been conducting back in your own country. I think this is what we have been discussing for the last few years in the IATS Alumni Organizing Committee, IATS Forum uh, Organizing Committee, how we could strengthen our partnership with the alumni. As you may be aware, the organizing committee have been discussing how to improve our forum and setting the theme of the sustainability for the participants to think and learn together. But after spending time in the forum, how you utilize your experience back in your own country. That's what we really would like to challenge 
for opening the door of the next stage of the IATS forum by moving to the new location. Each one of us may only be a small entity, but by working together, we should be able to accomplish great things. I believe that this is what you really learned through your experience during the IATS forum. I really moved from your comments that you remember so many good memories in this facility. I also have so many memories in this facility by interacting with many of you. Again, you know, we will not stop. We will moving forward by opening the next stage of the Yats Forum. So for doing that, we, I again really would like to emphasize the importance of strengthening our international network of alumni. For becoming the leaders in society, we must not forget to think and learn together. But there may be one more thing I would like to add. We can think, learn, and create together. So that's the next challenge I really would like to discuss with you, how to create new things based on your experience in a YATS forum. Today, like all of you, I cannot stop feeling sadness. Of course, sadness of closing this facility, but also sadness of thinking what has been happening around the world. I think you also feel sad about the tragedy what is happening in Ukraine today. But such tragedy is not happening only in Ukraine, but also many parts of the world, including Asia. As the leaders in society, I hope that you feel both sympathy and empathy for those people who are vulnerable. And I want you to take action, even if it's something small. A small action may change the world. So through, the, through your experiences of IATS Forum, I think we think and learn together, but then how we can create new things together to change this world. That's that probably the la last message I'd like to uh, send to all our friends of the Yats Forum by taking this opportunity of standing in this room. I mean, we are standing in the room where we used to have lectures. So good memories, we keep that. But at the same time, as many of you said, we will start the new stage in the new location. And the spirit of the forum will always remain the same. So please always remember that we are connected in our hearts. As I say goodbye to the training facility in Suzuka, I'd like to conclude my closing remarks by wishing you all good health and happiness and stay in touch. We are always together with the spirit of Yats Forum. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, Professor Kitamura, for your heartfelt, mes heartfelt message. Thank you for everyone. Thank you everyone for taking part in today's event, which is the farewell event to the EATS Forum facility in the Suzuka Circuit Hotel South Building. For those who are watching this online, thank you so much for being with us today. Now, this is the end of that uh, event today. I would like to ask all the attendees in the semi seminar hall to stand up and move to the front so the people who are watching this live online can see the faces of all, all of us here. Please come to the front and stand in the line. Two lines, please. So, all right, this is the end of the event. Thank you for 37 year. Thank you for 37 great year and the memory we made here will last forever. Thank you very much everyone and best of luck to everyone. Thank you. はい、ありがとうございました。お疲れ様です。